listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listen to the sound of my voice. When I tell y'all it's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, it is a beautiful day. At 7.30 this morning, it was 56 degrees. Right now, it's 59, going up to a high of, guess what, y'all? It's 74. Yes, it's going to be beautiful. And I'm happy because I got to go to meetings today. So whenever I don't have to, whenever the weather is nice and I got to go out, I'm excited about that. So it's going to be 74. I'm talking about, that's a, listen, 74 degrees in February. We talking about beautiful, baby, beautiful. So we're going to have a beautiful day. The rest of the week is going to be like that, though. Um, It's going to be 74 tomorrow. I'm 69 tomorrow, 76 on Thursday. Just beautiful. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Then it's going to drop back down to the 50s over the weekend. But that's fine. That's fine. Because I don't think I have much planned for the weekend except for on Friday. So Friday, guys, remember, we're doing the, um, not Friday, Saturday. Matter of fact, it's going to rain. Nope, not going to rain on Saturday. But Saturday, remember that we're doing the, um, we're, uh, the Greater East Side Chamber of Commerce is partnering with the Gwinnett County uh, uh, Board of Health to uh, uh, offer vaccinations this coming Saturday at from 9 a.m. I think to 7 because um, you know we want to try to keep this the 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 the, vac- the um, COVID cases down and one of the ways to do that is to get people vaccinated. Now, what's cool about this vaccination um, event is that when you come out and you've never been vaccinated before, you are your children's age five and up. If you've never if you've never been vaccinated before, you can get your vaccination and the opportunity to get a one hundred dollar gift card if you get that before supplies are depleted. That's that you got to get there early. So yeah, get there early. You got to get vaccinated and then you get the card and your children get a card. So if you have a child the ages of five and up. Um, and they get vaccinated. They also get a $100 gift card. So if you got five children plus you, that's $600 you walk away with on Saturday and some protection against the coronavirus. So, um, check that out. This come, this coming Saturday, starting at 9 a.m. It's free to everybody. It's first come first serve basis for the visa gift cards. So make sure that, you know, if you know, you can use one of them gift cards and the vaccination, get in line so you can get yours. All right. I'll be there. Stop by and say hi. I might even be broadcasting live. I don't know what the setup is like. I'm going to check it out this weekend because if it's going to be, um, if it's going to be a good setup, I might get out there early and broadcast from like nine to 12. So that way I could tell people about what's going on at the event itself. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Today is world spa day. Yep. Yep. So you want to go to the spa. It's a good day. It's also national supermarket employee day. So if you have to go to the supermarket and you see your favorite cashier or clerk, just say hi and, and say happy, happy, uh, happy super, supermarket employee, employee day. It's also National California Day. My goddaughter was here this weekend with me. She lives in L.A. So I said to her, I thought she was moving to Georgia. She says, I'm waiting for my mom. So if a mother moves to Georgia, she says she's coming to Georgia. But right now she's out there in L.A. It's also National Cook a Sweet Potato Day. I like sweet potatoes. Like, if you like sweet potatoes, go ahead and get you one. Oh, goodness. Listen, y'all. It's National Margarita Day. So, my birthday was Sunday, but I celebrated starting on Saturday. And so, I had a paint and sip party at uh, Twisted, pa- Painting with the Twist over in Lawrenceville on Krogan Street. And um, I had a margarita afterwards at the social, right? And when I tell y'all, because I'm not a drinker, y'all, but I was like, it's my it's my birthday weekend. I'm going to have a margarita. And when I tell you my head was pounding Sunday morning, oh, my God. It felt like somebody punched me in the back of my head. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I got to go to the bathroom. My head was, because I'm not a drinker. And I, I really don't really drink drinks. Like, if I drink anything, most of the time it's Moscato. That's if I drink at all. It's Moscato. But no, nah, I'm, I'm being a big girl for my birthday. And I'm going to drink a margarita. And whew, I don't know what they had in that margarita. And it was funny because when, when they brought it to the table and I tasted it, I was making all kind of faces. My daughter was like, what's wrong? I said, this thing is strong. And so she tasted like, oh, that's nothing. I'm like, nothing? And now, mind you, y'all, she's a lightweight like me. So when she said this is nothing, I'm like, yeah, that's something. Like, she, she's a light. She's a little old lady. My daughter is a little old lady. She goes to bed about 8 o'clock every night. She doesn't really drink. She doesn't party. Yeah, when I was her age, well, when I was her age, I had her. But before that time, 
Yeah, I was partying up a storm. I still didn't drink, though. I was never a drinker. So I didn't need to drink to have fun. I just liked to party. So I would party four days a week. Didn't care about drinking, but loved to party. Loved to buy clothes and loved to party. Yeah, that was me. Long gone up days that I could party four days a week. I could barely work four days a week. No, I'm just kidding. I work seven days a week. I'm supposed to be off, I'm, and I'm never really off. All right, let's get on with this show. Let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Mike Thousand for today, Tuesday, February 22nd. Now, wait, 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 wait. Before I tell y'all that, I got two things. One is Talk Business Tuesday, so stick around for the second half of the show while I'll be talking business. You want to stick around and find out more about is your business ready for um, Web 3.0 and what does that mean, right? So we're going to talk about that because that's important. And I have a lot of talk coming down the pike about that because we don't want to get left behind like when the internet age jumped off, right? So Web 3 is coming. It's already here, as a matter of fact. It just hasn't blown up yet. You want to be a part of the blow up. Because if you be a part of the blow up, you can be a part of the financial glow up. Oh my goodness, I made a rhyme. I made a rhyme. But anyway, today is uh, February the 22nd, 2022. Now, I should have got my daughter on the line, but the last time I got on the line, we couldn't really hear what she was saying that good. But today, you know what? Let me see if I get her on there. Hopefully, we can hear her better today. But um, today is 222, and you know, I have to, she's my guru, so I have to bring her on the line to talk about what's going on with the. With the whole uh two two twos. Let me see, can I get her on, y'all? Hey. Hello. Good morning. You're on live. And good morning, Gwinnett. Good morning. Good morning. So I was about to tell them about the two two twos, but you know, last time I told them I messed it up, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to okay. say anything. I was like, let me let you do that because that's what you do. Okay. Cool. So. Um, yes, today is another portal day. Uh, I believe we've actually had three this month, which was uh, February the 2nd, 2022. February the 20th, 2022. And today, February 22nd, 2022. Um, so today, we're going to do that good thing uh, that I like to do, which is manifest. So um, in, the manifest, in the manifestation process, if you have not already heard me speak about it, Basically, what you are going to do today, you are going to write out, and I mean, I want you to get as descriptive as possible, get as detailed as possible. So I'm going to give you an example um, of something that you, you know, you can use or kind of go off of to write your own manifestations. Um, before you start any type of manifestations, you always want to give gratitude to the universe uh, for what you have now. So you know, I am, I am extremely grateful, you know, for my. You know, my Mercedes Benz, I am extremely grateful for, you know, my home and things like that. So you always want to say that, and you know, I'm extremely grateful for where I am now in life. Um, so you always want to show gratitude. Once you show your gratitude, you then want to begin your manifestation. Um, you never want to say, I will have. You will say, I am happy that I have. You always speak in the tense that you already have it. Even though it's not here, you already have it. You're claiming it. Um, so once you do that, you can say, um, for instance, I, I may write today, um, you know, I am so happy that I have, um, that I have the ability to, um, drive my favorite car, which is 2023, uh, Porsche is white with red interior heated seats, um, a, pan a panoramic sunroof with black wheels, um, black rims. Um, red calibers, whatever the case may be, you just want to get extremely, extremely, extremely detailed. Um, and so that's pretty much what you want to do today. Today is a portal day. So once you finish writing, feel it. The difference between uh, scripting or scribing and, uh, and manifesting is that when you're scripting, you're not feeling it. You're just writing it down as if it is a to-do list, I guess. Um, but when you're manifesting, you actually take the time to feel it. So I'm going to feel myself driving my new Porsche, um, <laughs> you know, with the sunroof back and my hair blowing in the wind, you know, playing my favorite song. I am going to allow myself to feel all of that because I already have it. Um, and so basically, that's all you want to do today. And once you're finished, you can go um, hide it. You can burn it. You can just put it somewhere and just let it go and just let it be. Um, and that's what you're going to do today on this 2022. 
Thank you so much. Now, listen, guys, I know that was kind of low because we're doing it directly from my phone. And trust me, I'm going to get my system hooked up so when she does come on to give these readings or, or manifestation talks, you can hear her much better. So if you if it was low, because I know somebody said, oh, my God, it's low, just turn your speakers up. That's all you got to do. Dominique, thank you so much for jumping on with us and sharing us, uh, sharing with us what we need to be doing for this portal day. I appreciate you. All right. No problem. Y'all have a good one. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So listen, I know somebody said, I can't hardly hear it. Turn your speakers up. I get it. She's on the cell phone with the microphone. I got the cell phone to the microphone so you can hear a little bit. Again, I was about to tell you the wrong thing because I didn't did it wrong again. So anyway, now I got to go back and do mine over because I thought I was doing something early this morning when I was outside at 730 walking around because it was 56 degrees. Now I got to go back and do it over after the show. So if you had trouble hearing her, turn the speaker up. That's all you got to do. I promise you that my system is going to be set up so when she, when I bring her on in the future, you will hear her nice and clear. Okay? I'm promising you that. So just stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thyssen for today, Tuesday, February the 22nd, 2022. It's five twos. Like my birthday was four twos. The beginning of the month was two twos. And I'm like, oh, it's a two, 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 two for me. So, yes, I was 2 2022. Yes, that was just a couple of days ago, Sunday. Matter of fact, really a couple of days ago. All right, we're going kick to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Your personal life will be disrupted if you have been too busy with business. Yes, Aries. All work and no play makes you a dull person. Yes, let me say that again. All work and no play makes you a dull person. So if you've been so busy with your work, your personal life is going to be disrupted. Just know that. So you need to take time out and find some balance so you can have a life along with your business life, along with your work life. You have to create balance because if you're working all the time and you don't have time for your personal life, it's going to suffer. All right. Accept the inevitable. Go out with your friends. Go out, have some fun, let your hair down. Taurus, tell them to get out of the mess they are in, and then you'll consider getting together with them. Okay. Make amends if you can. You might be overly emotional when dealing with your partner. All right, listen. Make amends if you can. But listen, if they're in a mess, don't nobody want to go into nobody else's mess. Tell them to fix your mess and holler at me when you're done. That's all. And stick to your guns. You don't want to be a part of that crap. Let them fix it. Fix it. If you want to, if you want to get with me, you need to fix the mess you're in. I don't want your mess. I don't want to be a part of that crap. Keep you Listen, hold your ground, Taurus. Hold your ground. Gemini, you can increase the value of your dwelling. Look, look into residential moves that will give you more space. Love can be heightened if you sit down and discuss your future plans. You could have trouble persuading others to accept your ideas and opinions. You could. It doesn't say you will. It says you could. So what you need to do is create a compelling campaign to present to them. Right? Create something, a presentation that knocks them off their feet where they they have to say yes. That's all. That, but you got to put some time into it, some time, some love, all of that. On the flip side, when it comes to your relationships, love can be heightened, but you got to sit down and discuss your future plans. Let me tell you something. Let me just say this. Discussing future plan and putting them plans into actions are two different things. You got to first sit down to discuss them. And then you got to come up with a plan that you can put into action. Because just talking is just talk. I know people that just say, you know what, we're going to plan this. And they plan and they do nothing with the plan. That sucks. You got to take some action. Just discussing the plans, yeah, that's good. But what happens after you get the plan and after you discuss the plan? What what actions are you going to take? What's the next step? Just talking about it, that's fine. But now you got to put the action behind it. Cancer. Romance could develop through social activities or short trips. Don't expect anyone else to pay your bills for you. Make love, not war, and all will be fine. Make love, cancer, not war, and all will be fine. And check this out. Don't expect anybody to pay your bills for you because <clears throat> they're not going to do it. So pay your own bills, and that way your stuff don't get cut off. Your lights don't get cut off. Your phone don't get cut off. The water is not cut off. Your mortgage is not paid. Pay your own bills. I'm just trying to help somebody out. Leo, take a different approach. Make an offer they can't refuse. You may find yourself in the limelight for the wrong reason. You will be in an overly generous mood today. All right, listen. I know a lot of us like the limelight, right? But you do not want to be in the limelight for the wrong reason. That is because that's hard to live down. Let me just say it. 
Ooh, let me tell you now. Ask somebody that's been in the limelight for the wrong reason. They'll tell you, man, that's hard to live now. That follows you for the rest of your life pretty much. Yes, it does. And in the meantime, take a different approach. Don't go the same way everybody else is going. Take a different approach and then make them an offer that they, they just can't refuse. I do that all the time. I do When you have something unique, you can, you can make offers that people just can't refuse. I do it all the time. <clears throat> I'm a unique person. So are you. But you have, to, you have to figure out what your uniqueness is and then create an offer around that. And then most of the time, people can't refuse it. But, oh, yeah, dang, I can't only get that through. Yeah. So that's, I, that's how I do a lot of my business. What I do is unique. I make unique offers that people just can't refuse. And we do business. That's what we do. Speaking of business, stick around. On the second half of the show, I'll be talking business. Today is Talk Business Tuesday. So you want to stick around and find out about Web 3.0. <clears throat> How does that apply to your business? And are you ready for it? Heck, are you ready? All right, Virgo, take part in stimulating debates that will allow you to show off your intelligence. Your emotions are fluctuating, so be careful not to say things you'll regret. You will find it easy to learn and excel. Now, here's the thing, Virgo. Watch the tongue because you don't want to say something that you're going to regret later because once you say it out your mouth, you cannot get it back. You can't say sorry. It's not going to make it go away. Once it's out your mouth, it's out your mouth. And even if the person forgives you, it's always stuck in the back of their mind. So be careful about what you say and who you say it to. All right? All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thyssen. Stay tuned. I've been thinking about you. I'm waiting for it all to come true.
welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the Daily Horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Try not to be too aggressive or judgmental when talking to your mate. Your emotional partner will push all the right buttons today. You will be able to talk to your lover about future goals and perhaps make plans for the two of you to take a vacation. Yes. There we go again, future goals and plans. You got to take some action though. So listen, Libra, when you make your plans while you're on vacation, make the plans and then put out what the actions are because the plan is fine. Now you got to, what's the action part of that plan? It has to be some action. And here's the thing. Everybody has to do their part because you can do a plan. You can even put in the action steps, but then you have to, you have to do your part. And I think that's what a lot of people feel like. It's great to talk about it, right? It's great to plan it. But then you have to put the action steps, and then you have to take the action. It's not a, you got to do all of it. I know it's a lot. It's a lot when you're trying to fit it into your day, fit it into your life. You got work. You got kids. You got the wife. You got the husband. You got to go to church. You got bills. All these things play a part in that whole scheme of things. But if it's important to you, I'm talking about really, really important to you, you will figure out how to make it happen. But when you cannot get outside of your mindset, because let me tell you, anything anything you want in life begins with the mindset. If you can't see past the obstacles that are in your way, you would never, ever, ever, ever get anywhere. You will stay stuck right where you are because your mind won't let you move to the next phase in life. It will not. Yeah, it's your mindset. And here's, here's how you know your mindset is ready to move. Your mindset is ready for you to move because you move. When you take, when you don't move because you got, okay, you go to work, I get it. But do you have an extra hour in the day to put in on that thing you say you want? And the way, to, the way to do that is to say, okay, now what am I doing right now? Are you watching TV for like that hour that you could be putting into the thing you say you want? I don't mean to preach, but I feel like somebody needs to hear this right now. You say you want something, but you put no time towards it. Everything else is a priority priority over the thing you say you want. But do you really want it? Because you really want it when you go out and get it. You really want it when you really work for it. You can't sit back and wish it and pray it. I'm just telling you, it doesn't happen like that. You have to put in the work. You have, when you find yourself watching hours and hours and hours of television, spending hours and hours and hours on social media, spending hours and hours and hours playing game, that could be time you could put into the thing you say, and I'm putting air quotes, you say you want. I spend most of my time working on the things I say I want. Like 97% of my time working on the things, I'm going to say 95. 95% of my time is spent on working on the things I, I say I want. Right. And I do play games, but guess when I play them 10 o'clock at night when it's time for me to go to bed. That's when I play because that's how I wind down for the night. When do I watch TV? I start watching TV roughly around nine o'clock at night. That's when I start watching TV. But it's time for me to go to bed because I've been up since 730 actually doing work, actually writing out my plans and journaling. That's I've been up that long. So it's OK if I need to stop at nine o'clock and watch some TV and play a game. Because I need to wind down so I can go to sleep. In the middle of the day, am I playing games and watching TV? No, I'm not. I am not. I take a break for lunch. I might watch about 15, 20 minutes of TV, if that. Or I sit here at my computer with my lunch and I'm looking at some kind of educational video. Somebody needs to hear this. You say you want these things, but are you taking the necessary action to get them? I got to go to work. I know you do. But when it's on your way home, can you listen to a podcast to learn something versus the radio? I do that all the time. I rarely ever listen to the radio, which is crazy because I love music. I, you hear me play it on the show every day. But when I'm in my car, guess what I'm doing? I'm listening to a podcast. Somebody has learned something that I need to know. And trust me, there are 2.5 million podcasts out there in the podcast universe. You can find one to teach you something. I just felt like somebody needed to hear that today. Now, let me get on with these horoscopes. Scorpio, driving too fast or double parking will result in difficulties with the fishers. You're going to get a ticket. That's what they That's what the stars are trying to tell you. Drive fast and double park. There's a lot to be done, and if you meet your deadline, you'll be in your boss's good books. Try to enlist the help of those you trust in order to fulfill the demands being made on you. All right, so listen, you got to have, you got to get some help. Like, yes, if you ask for help, you're probably going to get it. Here's the thing, Scorpio, you have to ask. 
If you do not ask for help, you will not get help. And now you got all these demands been made on you and you could use some help. Ask. Open your mouth and say, hey, I need help. I know that's hard for all of us to do. Well, not all of us. Many of us that's hard for. In the meantime, don't drive so fast. You're going to get a ticket, a citation. You're going to have to pay it. If you're driving too fast, you, especially if you're here in Georgia, you get a ticket for speeding, you're going to get it. It's going to be about a hundred and something dollars. So just be prepared for that. Sagittarius, older relatives may make unreasonable demands. Rest and relaxation may be required. Minor health problems will prevail if you don't watch your diet. Try not to be too harsh with your mate. <clears throat> Listen, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and don't take it out on your mate. Yeah, you don't feel good. You got you got old folks putting demands on you, feeling horrible, right? And now you want to take it out on your mate. Don't do that. Take a minute to rest and relax. When you do that, you rejuvenate. You, you bounce back, all right? Do that. Take a minute for yourself. Matter of fact, Sagittarius, take two. Take two. Capricorn, sudden trips may take you by surprise. Try to include your mate. Mix in business with pleasure. Oh, yeah. Try to include your mate mixing business with pleasure. That sounds like fun. Your lack of attention may have been a factor. Travel will lead it lead you in new directions. Okay, which direction are you going in, Capricorn? Travel, where are you going? My daughter told me this morning she was planning, hey, I'm planning a vacation. I told y'all she liked to travel. That chick likes to travel. I don't know why she don't just become a travel agent. I keep telling her that. Like, you can do it as a part-time hustle, but you get so many benefits. And I keep telling her that because she likes to travel. She's planning a trip right now. Hey, what's your calendar like on these days? Like, my days are always filled. I don't have free days. But but for you, I'll make some time. Yeah. Aquarius. Personal problems may be hanging over your head, but don't confront the situation. You can't live your life for others. Extravagance will be a problem. Listen, personal problems are hanging over your head, but don't confront the situation. <sighs> Is, because here's the thing. Is it something that you really need to confront Aquarius? Right? Is it something that you need to put energy into for real? That's what you got to ask yourself. And if it's not, then don't do it. Don't confront it. Just let it blow over. But you got to be real honest with yourself. And you cannot live your life for others. Live your life for you. It's your life. That's why God gave you your life and gave everybody else their lives. You live your life for you. As long as you're not hurting, harming, or putting anyone else in danger, it's your life. That's all I'm saying. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. All right. I know y'all don't want to hear what I'm about to say, fish, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Fitness or weight loss programs will help your self-esteem. Oh, I know. I know. It's the struggle, baby. It's I, Listen, I'm right there with y'all. We str I'm right there struggling with you. So... I, so my husband has this program on his job that we're both doing, and I'm still I'm still flopping. I'm flopping. I'm trying to get better. It little the least little thing throw me off my game. I got to get back on. My birthday threw me all the way off, just all the way off. I just lost complete complete, complete control over the last three days. I'm back on track now though. I'm back on track. Anyway, digestive disorders will be a result of family squabbles. So your stomach is bothering you. Are you arguing at home, fish? Like, that's why your stomach is bothering you. You can't eat. You got an upset stomach. You think it's something that you've eaten or something that you... No, it's you being unhappy. It's you having squabbles at home that's making your stomach upset. All right? Self-deception regarding your own worth may lead you down the wrong path. Oh, my God. What is going on today with us, fish? You got to lose some weight. You got to get into a... You got to boost your self-esteem. You got family squabbles making you sick. You, you, you challenge your, 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 your self, your self-deception is just messing you up, making you not know the worth that you're on. It's going to lead you down the wrong path. I need y'all to take a second. Matter of fact, I need y'all to take a half a day, a half a day. Stop. Stop for a second, fish. Spend some time with yourself. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Um, my friend sent me a video this morning of this guy. He was dancing. He was killing it, too. So I said, oh, my God, he's killing the dance. He was dancing. He was getting it in. He was killing it. She sent me She sent me a, a, a text right after that and said he killed himself. And I'm like, what? He looked happy. He was having fun. And he was, he was a kind of heavy guy. He wasn't super fat. He was a little heavy. He had had weight loss surgery, and my guess is that he lost the weight. And then after he did that, he killed himself. Now, I know that's a little bit morbid, right? But I got it. I just had to tell you that. So it wasn't his weight that he thought was a problem. It was really his mindset. 
It's not the things around, and I don't know why I got it. I don't know why God is telling me to talk about this right now, but I feel like somebody needs to hear it. He thought it was his weight. He went out, he had weight loss surgery. He lost the weight. He still had the same problem. It wasn't the weight at all because he wasn't super big. I've seen some super big folks. Heck, heck, I've been one of them super big people. It wasn't, it was his mindset. It's not the things around you, it's your mindset. You have to work on your mindset, but you have to be honest with yourself about where you are and what you want. See, that's the other thing. I feel like people are not honest with themselves. I know what I want. I need a million dollars, right? So I can become debt free and build my dream home. Pretty simple. That's what I need. That, that, that's really, that right there is the ultimate everything for me outside of my family and friends and my love and my health. I'm very clear about that. Very, very clear about that. And my mindset pushed me every day to hit that goal. And I know for some people, a million dollars is nothing. It's like pennies. It's like having a $20 bill. Not for me, y'all. So I'm very clear about that. You have to be very clear about who you are. You, you, who you are. And honest about that. I realized that certain things about myself that I'm like, mm. and I just realized some of these things like in the last month, I'm like, mm. I realized that I don't like that for real, like at all. So I got, so now that I know that I won't ever put myself in that situation again. And I had to be honest about that. But what, what happened was the fact that I needed to run my business a certain way made me feel like, well, I need to do this thing for the business. Nah, because even though I'm doing that thing for the business, it's making me really unhappy right? So I won't do that again, not even for the business because it's making me really unhappy. So you have to get really clear about who you are. And I think when you get clear about that, it means you have to be honest. If you are the person, if you are that person and you say, you know what? I only want to draw, then draw. I only want to write books, then write books. I only want to podcast, then podcast. And be okay with that and go all in on that, right? Find ways to build your self-esteem and your self-confidence. Find a way. Find your find the thing that makes you feel worthy of who you are. Find that thing. It's your mindset, y'all. It's the mindset. I started out, I started out developing my mindset probably back in 1999 when I launched the first company. I bought everything Tony Robbins put out. Every book every audio set, every DVD series, everything Tony Robbins put out on the market, I will lay up there in my bed late night and watch the infomercial and order it. Because I, I understood that it was my mindset that I needed to change in order for me to do the things I needed to do. And I still work on myself because I still struggle in a lot of areas that I shouldn't. Heck, I should have made a million dollars by now. I ain't ashamed to say it. I have not made a million dollars. And I should have by now. But here's the thing. I work on my mindset. I put my action plan into place and I take action on a regular basis to move towards the goal of earning that million dollars. Now, once I earn a million, I'm going for 10, but I'm going to go for the million right now. And I ain't ashamed to say that. I used to be ashamed to say that, oh my God, I want to make a million dollars. What are people going to think? They're going to think that I'm just in it for the money. Well, heck, guess what I realized? Money makes the world go round and I need some of that. I want to be on the money go, the money merry go round. Yes, I do. I do. And I'm okay with that. And, 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 and people who say, oh my God, money is the root of all evil. No, people are the root of all evil. Not money. Money is a tool. And so, and, and, and it makes our world go round. That's what happens. Didn't mean to be so heavy, but I felt like somebody need to understand that you have to take control of your life and create the life that you want, your life, your path, not somebody else's, not looking at what somebody else is doing and wishing it was you, not looking at what somebody else is doing and saying, oh my God, I'm not doing well. Figure out your path and do that thing. Okay. All right. That's heavy. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back. Sure you had fun tonight. You and me felt all right. But it's time, but it's time you pick up your phone mm -hmm. You won't be worth my while Me and you won't work out Pick it up, pack it up, get a cab and go It's not your phone, my baby It's not on you, my baby I'm just not the right kind of girl for you You deserve somebody who's loving you You shouldn't call me later 
promise it's for the better I'm just not the right kind of girl for you Cause I got a rule I hold on to my heart Share with nobody Serious, can't you just be mine for a night, my love? Take it off, put it on, then be on your way. It's not you, call my baby. It's not on you, my baby. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you. You deserve somebody who's loving you. You shouldn't call me later. Promise it's for the better. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you. Cause I got a rule. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So I had to, you know, I felt like somebody needed to hear that message because it's really important that, it's really important that you work on your mindset. Um, anytime you think about something that you want or something that you say you want, you will know if you really want it when you, when you find yourself putting all the necessary actions behind it. A lot of times that's not what we do. We don't put the actions behind the things we say we want. So I call that the things you claim you want. You know, you claim you want these things, but you don't put in the necessary action. You get distracted by so many things. And I know when I don't really want something because I don't do anything towards it. I wanted to launch my NFT. Guess what I did? Didn't know what the heck I was doing, but guess what I did, y'all? I launched my NFT. Now I'm struggling trying to sell it. And I won't stop until I sell at least one. For me, success about that thing is selling at least one. So I'm trying every angle in the book to sell at least one. Because if I sell at least one, I can say I launched it and I sold something. Because that's new to me. But guess what? I said I wanted it and I put in all the necessary time to make it happen. Everybody's not built like that. I get it. And if you're not built like that, that's okay. Then find the thing that you're built for. That's all. You, ain't, you may not be built for what I'm built for. Find a thing that you're built for. Because I'm sure I'm not built for a lot of stuff. Most Like, I'm not built to run a restaurant. I know I'm not built for that. That's why I never I never really look at into food businesses unless I'm on the marketing side. Like, if you put me on the marketing side of a food business, I'm built for that. But if you put me in the kitchen, I ain't built for that. I did that before. I know I'm not built for that. So I don't, you, you hardly ever hear me talking about launching a restaurant business unless, unless I know that they're going to put me on the marketing side. If they put me on the marketing side, they put me on the customer service side where I can be smiling and talking to people. Yes, I'm built for that. The kitchen, even though I can cook, I ain't built for that. I have no passion at all for that. So just had to share that. 
All right, so so uh, New Gwinnett County Commission and School Board maps are signed into law. Yep, they're signed into law. Governor Kemp on Friday signed into law a controversial Gwinnett County Commission redistricting map and a new map for the Gwinnett County School Board of Education. The county commission map um, passed the General Assembly a week ago after it was redrawn by Representative Bunny Rich, Republican of Swanee, who drastically changed the map introduced by the Democratic majority of Gwinnett legislative de delegation. So the maps are redrawn every 10 years um, by law and um, based on the latest census. And so the Republicans got a chance to redraw the, re redraw the lines of the map, which they wanted to include more um, commissioners into the, into, they want to add four more, no, five more. So we would have a total of 10. Anyway, we have to see what's going to happen with that. So District 4 is on the ballot this year. Um, it is currently represented by Commissioner uh, Marlene Foscu. She's going to be my guest this coming Sunday on Popcorn and Politics. So we're going to be talking to her about that map and what that may mean for her um, coming up in this election cycle because it could mean that she may not have her district anymore. It could mean that she's, re she's drawn out of her district. And what does that mean for her moving forward um, in a political party, in a political world? Um, she's the first black commissioner in Gwinnett County. And, um, you know, that could, that's going to, that could, that could definitely, um, throw a monkey wrench in her reelection plans. Anyway, qualifying begins on March the 7th. So we'll be talking to Commissioner Foscu this coming Sunday. Be sure to tune in at uh, 1 PM Eastern standard time live. You can watch the show on America. You can listen to the show on American one radio, but you can watch it live on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Roku. So you can watch Popcorn and Politics live this coming Sunday at 1 p.m. Commissioner Marlene Foscu is going to be our guest. We're going to talk about this map and what does that mean for her and her, her re-election um, where she's running right now. So should, be sure to tune in. Go to Popcorn and Politics for more information about the show. And if you are a political candidate, candidate or a government official or activist, be sure to go over to Popcorn and Politics and be you know sign up to be our guest. Derek and I would love to have you if you got something to talk about and share with our community uh, here in the state of Georgia. Popcorn and Politics is a show that's all about pop people and po uh, politics around the world, not just here in Georgia. So be sure to go to popcornandpolitics.com to sign up to be our guest and also tune in this coming Sunday at 1 p.m. Anyway, so the board, the Gwinnett County Board of Education's redistricting map makes minimal changes to the existing boundaries. Only 27,000 of Gwinnett, nearly 1 million residents, will end up in a different school district, um, according to the map. So that's not a lot of change. It's the change that's coming to the commission. That's the problem. So we're going to see how that rolls out. And hopefully um, Sunday, Commissioner Foscu can shed some light on where we are and what where does that leave us <clears throat> so that's going to be interesting conversation listen if you missed some of our other episodes go back and listen to them you can do that by going to popcornandpolitics.com we have some good ones Ooh, we have some good ones so you might want to um you might want to go back and check some of those out this is a story that i'm excited about so let me tell y'all a quick story before i talk about this story so i was on a conference call um, cause you know, I'm a techie somewhat. I'm, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to be more and more of a techie because I'm actually learning technology. But, um, I was on a conference call and, and, and some, the person that was, uh, said, was crazy, um, are in need. Or so, and Reed is going to give us a great into our the show I'm talking about, um, this is where we point already. I'm taking the fact that Reed is like, you think that technology has been out like we were so far along? We are expanding more. With the artificial intelligence coming up, with the of uh, 3.0 metaverse and NFT blockchain currency, or AR, VR, all, tech, all high tech, all this coming over here. What does that mean? With all this advancement, it comes advanced advancement in technology, right? Because the more advanced we come in technology, remember, people are building technology. People, people, which means if they build it, they know how to destroy it. If they build it, they know how to force system. They're building it. Yes, they're building technology, AI, and blockchain, things like that. But people are building, right? people aren't building that. People are doing that. And so, because they're doing that, there's money to be dishonest, not to be done. But you know, there's always going to be some ass in the bunch somewhere and some of them are genius. Now, that being that being said, what that how is ready to now in the security certificate program. Because the main positions are higher than ever. And they get high. And this is a great opportunity for you to get to this state or in a, 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 a career in tech. As we tell you, I'm living with old. And so I know the college out there and there's some smart out, out there. I use some of it. It is nothing. Dog. And there are things that most people will be able to identify with the naked eye. Then I take a security professional to do, tell you what I know. From voice, takes recognition, all that out in the tools that I'm using. Somebody 
everybody's going to need to know how to handle things. Because there's going to be a lot of um, action going on, a lot of advancement, but there's going to be a lot of this going on. But that people just call on you to pay your light bill and you to pay a little because the lights are not. It's going to be people that look like people that show up. Because they know, hey, you know, this, if you don't pay this money right now, this is what's going to happen to you. That's the kind of technology we're doing. That is most often are the elderly. So we need to ensure that we have, um, people out there who can understand and recognize these threats and be able to counteract them. Georgia, Georgia Bennett County College is offering this 16 credit hour program um, in this field for security. It's going to be a bill. Check out. Plus, Board of Bureau of Labor Systems Identified Information Security List is one of the best options for people looking to fill. It pays well, a million dollars, one three hundred and ninety dollars and is experiencing a steep upward trend in job openings. Yes, that's what I just said. So the, the BLS um, job outlook predicts a 33% rise eight, from 2020, which was two years ago, to 2030, which is eight years ago. Yeah, so that's how much is going to rise. It's really much of the technology that's been created. And that technology is being created by people. And yes, they're making the machines smarter, but for people, that's how they make the machines smarter. So this is a great opportunity for you to learn something um, in cyberspace, cybersecurity space. So check out. You go over to Georgia Gwen, I'll check out the courses there and see what something you're interested in. You know, because it, it's, it's going to be more. It's going to be more. I'm telling you, when they say what I want to talk about today, it's called Business Tuesday. Is your business web 3.0 ready? Now, some of you may be saying, self or what the heck is web 3.0? So let me break it down for you. I'm going to start from web 1, web 2, and web 3, and why it's important. So web 1 was we got M when we got AOS. When you first got AL, let me tell you something. So I was already at web 3. No, I was at web 2 when web 1 came out. So I told y'all I like technology. It's scary, but I still like it. So when Web 1 came out, that was AOL. That was Prodigy. I had Prodigy first. I had AOL. Um, I think Netscape. Um, Yahoo was out. Then remember you had, had Yahoo email address. So that's what was had AOL. Yes. I got rid of Prodigy. I know. Some people are like, what is Prodigy? Prodigy was way back in 1994. That was, that was Web 2.0. I remember doing a party. They already put in on a message book. And these people showed up. They came from New York and New Jersey. Party. I had a girl BW party with big women. Now, I put it on the message. So if you have a message board, you have a head, I'm in this party. You can come on out. It's $20. We're going to have food and this and this. And people, I power off. It's nuts. That was Web 1. Just message boards. Just AOL. Web 2. YouTube. Facebook. Social media. That's Web 2. Web 3. VR. Which is virtual reality. VR. Reality. With um, reality. And more stands mixed reality. What does that mean? That means that virtual reality and all the reality can expand. It's to expand because it's virtual. That's what R is. Is a major mix to get a bit as far as it can go. It's mixed reality. That's where we're going. That three. And now somebody's saying, oh, that's that's not that's not for me. That's not gonna happen for me. It doesn't fit this. You need to start figuring out your fit your business. And the first thing you gotta do though is get a regular website. If you don't have a website, you're in trouble already. Your website is not your Facebook page. Your website is not your Instagram page. Your, page. your website is your website. It's your domain. You have a website. That's not your own. And I try to be so funny because I told her about to go. She kept telling me what the grant And I kept saying to her, listen, you need a website because if they take your Instagram account, then you can go to ask somebody. And then you got a website. But I've been saying to her peers, you need a website. Oh, website is blah, blah. You need a website. So the first thing you need to do is get that three point already. Get a website, right? Then after you get your website, and maybe it's just that you are available. You know, I know something, but it's like a game, right? I mean, virtually, I'm head on the yelp. That's what it is. They're, games are in Web 3. No, they are there, but here's the thing. I has said, you know what? Why come this? We need to get inside. With and guess what? They're in there. In there. Coca-Cola, in there. And designers, in there. You can fit even if you are a light coach. Think of being able to inside reality room, doing a group session with guys in the room there because it's reality. Think about the AR to a member of your coaching group. Have them put their fake, have them shine their phone on or put on some glasses and pop off page inside the room. They need to talk to the most. They need a message from the most. Yes, that's what we're talking about. You have to give it. I know it sounds so efficient. That's because it is efficient. That's how it is. Yeah, that's where it's in. It's not efficient. That's where it's in. It's not efficient. And I know some of you believe it, but you're going to get left behind. If you, you're going to get left behind trying to catch up to Web3. By the time you get caught up, be your web set. Because how fast is this? Some people are like 19 years out. They're 18 months at now we're in out mega, mega, but we're not just out on web, y'all. We're in the way. If your kids like this playing a game, the head on him and, and we're now. Guess what? They're already out of three right now marketing to him. If they aren't, they will be in the year. Listen, you are letting Why not make sure your brand is the same form as part of what you're doing inside the platform? There are going to be platforms for you to create your own world in the mirror. I don't, the mirror is a whole nother spot to get you to, to at least start thinking about, well, get web ready first. You can turn it with a website, a 3D website. Turn the web, three website. website. There, there are plugins that you can copy your website. Maybe I'm about to build a new website this week, right? Yes, do website. Do 
and I'm people because they're big. So I'm not afraid of what I'm not sure. And I build them in this, but I want to build a new book mark or super simple that people just ask what I need to play with when I can do it. But you want to build what's only cut off like that. But I don't have words. Only people who be very close to web. But wait, I'm not the baby of web. I see something on and it's like. So you can carry a web pointer. You can go in Google, what's reading website, that's what you So that's right. So that's showing what is experience like and what reading website you do. And I've taught you more from the news. If you want to build your own world to make it web ready, this is important. I want to learn. I mean, I'm normally in the old groups, but I have a coin. I don't begin to pass me by because I couldn't see the thing. That's everything. I didn't drink even. People give away fun. I was giving that curse. This is me. Jack. I was living in the plus ball. The first one. We in first style. We got plus signs everywhere. You know, not as but they are blocked out with people who are busy in that. We get these two or we get it done. I get a pie day, nothing to worry about. And I don't get either. So you just want to get a pie day. It's your day to make sure when you guys are on the basic side. Okay. And those are the side. Not only the side you want, you want to get your watch. You got what? Two side of the side to win over some meat. The shower, the shower is already working. It's the shower. 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 You could have a bunch of years and picture that on the wall. How are you? I bet it's having now. Look at them. I bet you sit down. Sit in the room. You can take it out of there. Take it to your phone. If you don't have a store, I can't put a phone in. And so you can't remember what you can do. 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 You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.